here I am making a video about the Panda P10-6320W. I'm going to go through the modes with you, it's very simple. Press stop whenever you open the device. Close it. It shows you mode. Water level. Go to the water level. So, start at 1. 1. 2. 3. Four, five. For the program level, this is program. These are the program level. Very simple. One. I put on quick wash because honestly, I'm gonna keep on washing and keep up with this. So there's no point of doing a heavy duty. A heavy duty is, I believe, 50. Oh, we'll go through it right now. Let's see. So rinse and wash. 37 minutes. So number seven. Pause. Number 8, rinse and thin is 30. Just, I literally was washing for 24 hours straight to test the, the device and it is boss. That is 9. And we're going to go back to 3 because so I'm doing quick wash. 1 is 66 minutes. I'll pause. 2 standard is. 66 minutes as well. No, it's actually no, hold on. 47 minutes, excuse me. And 3 is 23 minutes. That one matches up with the amount I put into the load. Honestly, I'm washing a big teddy bear. Hold on, you can see. Big old teddy bear, which get the lighting better in here. This is a setup. I got the rack coming from Home Depot. It's cheaper to buy it from Home Depot than it is Amazon or eBay. I'm gonna stack it up like so. I'm gonna give it to you right now, Bubble. I'm gonna give it to you right now. Look at this, this is Paw Patrol thing I'm washing. Pretty uh, dirty, had to wash it. Um, right now I have a pillow that I washed in the dryer. It's pretty big. Watch out, Bubble. And I'm gonna go ahead and press play. And then to lock it to keep away kids and all that stuff, this is a good trick. Just so you know to learn the device, hold it for three seconds. It will lock it. It will not close this, completely lock this door because it can still open it. But it will lock him from pressing anything like stop, any button from it completely stopping. I looked online, found a five star dryer. Watch out, Google. Very simple. Low dry, high dry. Make sure it's always pressed in. Really warm. I recommend buying one of these best for 15 on Amazon. Great little washer and dryer. I will put another review out in about a month or so to see how it works out, but it's been roughly about literally 48 hours washing. I slept a lot of clothes washed, literally roughly about 6, 8, maybe 6, 8, 12 loads. I don't know, I lost count blankets and everything completely. We just, you know, in the flu season, so I'm washing every single thing through here. And it can hold a queen size comforter, believe it or not. Believe it or not, the way I got it hooked up to mm -hmm. Hot water connection in the back. I painted the dial, got it from Home Depot. Uh, another blue dial right here for cold water. Have it running under here. Through the sink. Not so much great lighting, I'll probably need to get better lighting. One better. I have a tip on the sink. Just to look online to see how that spices out. Got holes under there. Dirty's two going up to the little area right here where the uh, dishwasher drain used to be at. I just go ahead and put that right over when I'm done washing. Uh, they recommend I'm plugging the device when done, but honestly I have no leaks at all. I just put a towel just in case you can tell. It's not that loud. It goes up to like 68 decibels. I put it on like one of those little sound monitors and whatnot just to double check that this is a setup. Fucking okay, awesome little setup. Did all those loads with this little guy and I still got a lot. You only supposed to use very little. I recommend going to the one. Right on the one. Literally, maybe a little bit more than that. You don't want to be too salty. Uh judge your loads out, don't overload it. The less load, the less you have in there, the quicker it will dry. Same thing by you know, the less you have washing, quicker it will dry. Very easy. Thank you and uh, hope you like the video.